Why does the government hide this? Well, what, so we all believe, most people believe in extraterrestrials. Right. Most people, so what are, you, what are they afraid of? We're living in a different world now. Since December of 2017 with Commander David Fravor, the Tic Tac UFO case, which I broke before the New York Times. I reported on that twice. That case opened the door, so we now know the government did not stop studying UFOs in 1969. There's a program called ATIP. That program is now acknowledged. So what, what, are, what are they afraid of? I think they're afraid of weaponization. I think that's the issue here. And also, you're right, we're not, we're not alone in the universe, but are they visiting here? And, and that's the question that they've been unwilling. Well, I always said it's, why don't they just release information that these events occurred and they can keep the technology secret? That I've never understood, so I'm with you on that. Why are they afraid of you? What, what are you going to tell us? Just what I did, the, the existence of the project. <laughs> All right. Why Why are they so afraid they, of that? I, I don't, you have to ask them that. Why do you think, Jim? What are they afraid of? You know, I, I, we, we, I don't really know. I think that it's a big concept, Larry. It's a big concept that we're not alone and that we're being visited. And in 1989, that's explosive. To this day, we're in a different world. I do believe that what has come out by the Pentagon, the videos by Commander Fravor, that they admitted there are unknown aerial objects of advanced technology that are in, in, fly with impunity in our airspace. It is now admitted by our government. If people don't know that, they now need to know that. We're in a different world. I'm very optimistic. That was a long way to go to say this, Bill Nye. You as a scientist, you encounter an alien race. They are able to perform what looks like magic by violating the laws of physics. Would you say it's magic? Or would you say, no, I got to find out how they violated the laws of physics? I'd go with the second one. And what I'd probably say is there's some law of physics we don't fully understand. Okay. This is a, this is something, this manifestation, this effect, this phenomenon is uh, described by some aspect of nature that we do not yet grasp. Many so-called whistleblowers today claim many of the advanced world governments are collaborating with so-called aliens to advance technology. However, this so-called human gene collaboration is nothing new. Ancient Islamic scriptures talk of technology transfer in the form of magic. In ancient times, technology would appear to be like magic to primitive human. Genes were transferring technology to human for evil purpose. Not for curing diseases or solving world hunger, or advancing science for the good of humanity. All the so-called collaboration between alien and man throughout the history till today are for weapons, destruction, and genetic modification. For creating superhuman for warfare. Such technology transfer happened in the ancient times as well. Two angels came down, and these angels were called Harut and Marut, and they came to the city of Babylon. Firstly, where is Babylon? Where is Babylon? Iraq. Iraq. And how ancient is Babylon? It is said to be the most ancient city. There was no city before the city of Babylon to that level. The first real civilization was Babylon. So we are going back pre-Ibrahim. We're going back to the earliest of times, way before Musa, way before Sulaiman. So Allah is telling us, when did magic begin? This is the story. Allah sent down two angels with the knowledge of how to control or access the jinn. And the angels were sent to the city of Babylon. And the angels were allowed to teach anybody who wanted to study with them the quote-unquote art of magic but the angels also claim with a big disclaimer and that disclaimer was the angels said to anybody who came to them we are a test from Allah so do not commit kufr by studying with us they learn from them ما يفرقون به بين المرء وزوجه what they would use to cause division between a man and his wife. 
So they were learning things so they could use it against someone. Give me a spell that will cause a divorce here, cause a fight there. That's the spell I want to learn. مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِهِ وَمَا هُمْ بِضَارِّينَ بِهِ مِنْ أَحَدْ And they, they are never and were never ever able to cause any harm to anyone إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Except by the permission of Allah. What did Allah just reconfirm here? Magic, talismans, whatever they learned in and of itself had no value. Except if Allah gave permission. إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مَا يَضُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ And they learned what would harm them and not benefit them. Now it's interesting, what they were learning was to try to harm someone else. But Allah describes it as something that they would learn to harm themselves. What's the ultimate harm? To lose your iman. That's the ultimate harm. وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ And it produced no benefit for them. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ And they already knew that whoever purchases it, he will have nothing for him at all of any portion. In the Akhirah, he will have nothing of it. They already knew that before they got into it. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقٍ وَلَا بِئْسَ مَا شَرَوْ بِهِ أَنفُسَهُمْ What a horrible thing they sold themselves for. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Had they only known. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ had they only known. They studied that which only harms them and there is no benefit. So magic has zero benefit. Unlike alcohol, Allah says khamar has some benefit. Khamar has some benefit. This is in the Quran. But the harm outweighs the benefit. As for sihr, there's no benefit. It's only evil. And the angels taught or told the men, لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ Whoever got this knowledge from them, مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ they would have no share of the next world. You can literally purchase this world at the expense of the next. And what an evil price they sold themselves for. If they only understood. Those who studied it became the first magicians. And all magic that is existent today somehow goes back to Babylon. And there are different madhahib of magic as well, by the way. It's not just one madhahib. There are different madhahib and different arts and different ways within magic. They all originate at Babylon. Marut uh, are two names that occur in the Quran, apparently the names of two angels who were sent uh, to Babylon. And uh, uh, the, the Quran says that uh, uh, Solomon did not teach magic, but uh, the Satans uh, taught uh, ma people magic. And, um, and, and whatever was revealed to these angels uh, at Babylon. <laughs> Mental image that a flying saucer will circle the White House lawn, land on the White House lawn, and give us a bounty of all sorts of technological goodies to initiate an age of Aquarius on the planet Earth. Personally, I don't think that's not going to happen. Aliens and genes are species that rule the Earth prior to the appearance of human beings. Then they had a war with the angels and lost the war. They had to vacate the earth and go into hiding. Wouldn't you be bitter if you were a jinn? Gee, realize that they could be thousands, maybe millions of years ahead of us in technology, and they may have, well, no interest in interacting with us in the same way that we don't necessarily want to deal with the squirrels and the deer in the forest. Now, some people say that we should not try to make contact with them because they could be potentially dangerous. The leader of one particular alien gene species, Satan or Iblis, has declared a war on human beings. Satan or Iblis, his goal is to lead human into destruction in this world and eventually into trouble hereafter. When did you hear the last time an alien has contacted a human for a good reason? When did you hear last time aliens have contacted human to work on curing diseases or getting rid of hunger in this world? Vast majority of their encounter if not all, are for sinister reasons. And if 
you're one of those human that is working with the aliens, beware. You have chosen the wrong friend. Because of the fact that we don't know their intentions. Then the other question is, what happens if they're evil? Well, I think the question of evil is actually a relative question because the real danger to a deer in the forest is not the hunter with a gigantic rifle. He's not the main danger to a deer in the forest. The main danger to a deer in the forest is the developer. The guy with blueprints, the guy in the three-piece suit, the guy with the slide roll and calculator, the guy that's going to pave the forest and perhaps destroy whole ecosystems. Indeed, Satan is an enemy to you. So take him as an enemy. He only invites his party to be among the companions of the blaze. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an army of the angels to fight them. This army of the angels fought them and pushed them out of the land and made them live on the islands of the sea. 